The AVR microcontrollers have been a cornerstone in embedded systems for decades, with the tiny AVR and mega AVR families being popular among developers for the reliability and versatility. Those of you who've programmed with AVR microcontrollers a while will have noticed some changes in how newer parts are named. This brings us to the recent AVR D and E families. The D and E family names are designed to simplify the selection process and provide clearer distinctions between different product lines. This new naming convention not only reflects the enhanced capabilities of our latest microcontrollers, but also aligns with our commitment to meeting diverse needs of modern embedded system developers. You may be wondering which new AVR family is right for your project. The old mega AVRs had more memory and more pins, while the tiny AVRs were, well, smaller. Is it the same for the D and the E families? Well, not entirely. The D families do typically run larger, ranging between 16 kilobytes and 128 kilobytes of memory in between 14 and 64 pins, while the E families range between 16 kilobytes and 64 kilobytes of memory in between 14 and 48 pins. However, in addition, the D families are geared for mainstream general purpose applications with a wide array of peripheral offerings and compelling digital peripherals, and the E families feature enhanced analog performance with built-in programmable gain amplifiers, or PGAs, on the ADC, and overall faster ADC peripherals. And both groups feature specialized families with unique features, such as the AVR-EB's motor control and waveform control focused peripherals, or the AVR-DU's built-in USB functionality. Speaking of peripherals, the AVR-D and D families come enhanced with new core independent peripherals and improvements. To name a few, certain devices now offer built-in level shifting courtesy of the MVIO, a zero cross detect, integrated op amps, and for more specific use cases, the latest generation of the peripheral touch controller, PTC, found on the AVR-DA, integrated USB support on the AVR-DU, and the advanced Timer F and motor control geared Timer E and WEX, all featured on the AVR EB. Lastly, all new AVR chips in the D and E families follow a unified pin layout, simplifying future migration between AVR devices. Alongside these new features, it's easier than ever to get started. There's an 8 bit landing page to learn more about our products, and once you're ready to begin developing, we have the MPLAB X IDE, MCC Melody, and XC line of compilers. Curiosity Nano development boards, and code examples ready on MPLAB Discover. That's all for now, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Thank you.